all right there's the TV I think it's a 42 inch 40 or 42 inch um, it's a little bigger than mine um, mine's right there that's a 32 but this is a Polaroid FLX 374 model 3700 and what he said it does is when you turn it on it takes forever for it to come on and it makes a high-pitched squealing type sound which pulses different patterns and he thought it was like some kind of a test pattern or something but uh, what I suspect it is is bad caps in the uh, power supply because these flat panels are known to have cheap caps in them so I went online and searched that model number and sure enough um, they they are known to have um, power supply capacitor failures you can get a kit on eBay for fourteen dollars I think with all the caps in it but I'm gonna pull the back off and see what the values of the caps are <coughs> excuse me they list the values of the values of microfarad values they don't list the voltages um, and they're all 105 degree temperature caps in the kit um, but I just want to do a price comparison and see if I can get them cheaper through Mauser or something but I suspect that it'll be probably just about right for the price so I'll just end up ordering the kit but I'm gonna pull the back off and see what I'm up against here I never worked on one of these before well I thought I'd have to pull the whole back off this but actually Polaroid either realized that this would be a common failure or they just made it nice for the technician I've already pulled the screws out of all this but this little cover comes off and this little cover comes off and there's the guts there's the power supply board right there I don't know what all these other boards are uh, that's probably the obviously the tuner um, not positive um oh yeah she's got bad caps that one right there in particular is bulging and that one is bulging and pushed up from the board um this one here looks like it's pushed up from the board it's broken the glue that was holding it so definitely got some bad caps these must be the two higher voltage ones. The kits don't come with those, but they say that they usually last longer. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. The bulging on those caps. But they're definitely, those two right there have definitely failed. And I would suspect that that one has also. So I will probably pull that board right out because it's easier to work on and that one then I can maybe show you guys clear the bulging caps so we'll get that out all right there's the board um, I didn't mention it earlier but this TV's been off for a couple months but uh, of course safety first you always want to make sure that it's not plugged in and discharge these two capacitors just by taking a screwdriver and going across the leads and make sure that they're they're shorted so that there's no charge built up because those are the high voltage caps and they'll hold the charge oh probably a couple days maybe even a week or so if it's if there's no bleeder resistors in there and I'm not exactly sure of the design of this but safety first but um, yeah I don't know if the, I don't know if the camera will focus on those two caps yeah you can sort of see it there the tops are bulged up there there that should be flat and not pooched up like that flat like this one and this one over here I got a sneaking suspicion that that one is starting to go too being that it's not glued anymore and it's kinda tipped so I will get the part numbers or the values off from all these caps around the heat sinks Looks like there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe ten, ten caps. Um, and I'll probably price these two big guys um, just to be, just to see what it costs. If I can get all the caps for less than fifteen or twenty bucks, I'll probably do it. Uh, there's a little cap hiding in there too. 
I wonder if there's any more. I don't see any more electrolytics. That little guy there too. So 11 caps. So I will uh, check on prices and see what we got. Alrighty. I went on to Mauser and looked up the caps. Um, there's like six dollars and a half worth of caps. Um, not including the two big ones here. But including this one here which is not in the parts list for the kit which you can buy on eBay so I mean it's fourteen fourteen dollars for the kit but it's free shipping I suppose that's a fair price um, as long as all the caps are the right size there are several different sizes for these caps um, they make them that are skinny and tall and they make them that are short and fatter and without getting the right one you know the the pin spacing might be a little different so they may not fit um, so I sent him an email about this cap if he can throw it in the kit uh, the cap is only 58 cents at Mauser so if he can throw that cap in the kit um, he also packages a little piece of solder and some solder wick and a bunch of other junk which I don't need I got my own shop so solder iron solder sucker solder anything I need I got right here so I don't really need that so I mean if he wants to throw in the cap and not send me that I'm, I'm all right with that but uh, so anyway I sent him the email we'll see if he responds um, if so I'll order that kit if not I'll have to take some measurements of these caps make sure I get the right ones and I'll save a little money that way. If I do order them from Mauser, these guys are only like four dollars and twenty cents a piece. I'll order them as well. Um, I've already got a, a down payment on on some, the money for some of the parts, so it's not going to cost me anything out of pocket. Um, so, but anyway, we will figure out what's going on with this and. Uh, when the parts get here, I'll make the repair. Thanks for watching.